Yeah, how are you all feeling about this weekend? Is it hard not to be looking too far ahead when you look at just seven points till this title? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. We've um, along the way just focused on the next training session and leading into the next game. It's uh, served as well though, thus far, so hopefully that will be the same come tomorrow. What are you expecting from Motherwell? Obviously, they've had a change of manager since you last faced them. They're, they are a kind of, I said they lost last weekend, but their form is, has been a lot better. Yeah, exactly. I think since the new manager came in, they've uh, changed their way of playing a wee bit. They've um, had good results in the in the main, and I think uh, they've got a striker in, the, in their team who's uh, scored a lot of goals, so they're a threat coming to uh, Celtic Park for sure. Hi, Greg. Um, obviously, as a, a group, you've been on just a, an incredible run of winning form. If you win this weekend, that you, you go past the mark set by Brendan Rodgers of, uh, of 17 wins in a row, and you start to really close in on the, the club record of wins set by Jock Steen. I'm just wondering, as, as a player, is that something that you think about much or focus on? Does it motivate you guys? Are you aware of the significance of all of this? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Of course, guys like yourself make you aware, so you do hear it. Um, but I think, as I touched on with Alison, um, we've had real focus on just the next game being the most important. Um, a boring answer, I know, but it's uh, it's definitely our mentality. We've um, we've got a squad that are all eager to play. We've got still a lot to play for in two competitions, so um, we just need to keep the, the head down and keep working towards, um, hopefully retaining and reaching our goals. And just something that Alison touched on just a, a, a minute ago there and when you were asked about is it difficult to not think ahead to what you're on the brink of, of achieving? I mean, subliminally, is it difficult internally just to keep the motivation going when you've got from the outside looking in what looks like an unassailable lead? Uh, no, it's definitely not difficult. Uh, winning trophies... It's what the club demands and it's also the best feeling ever. So it's definitely not difficult to uh, motivate yourself. You wake up in the morning and you're coming to play football for a living. It's, um, it's, it's really easy to motivate, to be honest. How difficult is it for you as players when you're, you know, to maintain the relentless form, particularly in games? Last week you were 4-1 four, four, well, four up at half-time. Um, is it difficult to keep that going when you know that the, the game is already effectively won by half-time? Uh, no, I think we were disappointed probably in our second half last week, if we're honest. Um, but no, not difficult. It's um, something that I think this team and squad of players have been really good at. We've been relentless and when we get the first goal or the second goal, we, um, we don't stop. And you see Kyogo, and I referenced this earlier on, is um, running all the way back to his own goal to defend it 3 or 4 nil up. So that's the mentality of the whole squad. It's the mentality of our attacking players and uh, I think it is... Um, a big reason and why we've been successful so far. And for you this weekend as a defender, you mentioned him earlier, Kevin Van Veen, the numbers that he's got as a as a Motherwell player is quite impressive. Is he someone that you focus on ahead of the game in your position? I think it's important to uh, recognise no matter what team he's playing for, to have them type of numbers, it's, um, it's really, really good. He's had a great season. He'll be a big threat in the game, but... We've got 11 players that are uh, also hoping to be a big threat in the game and we aim to focus on ourselves more than the opposition. Hi Greg, uh, how pleased are you with your own form this season? Uh, yeah, I think I've had a good season. I've uh, enjoyed up to this point. There's been, of course, different moments that I've missed out through injury or whatever, but um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I think I've played well, but I think there's also a lot of improvements and uh, things I can do to get better. Um, how impressed have you been with the way the January signings have settled in over the last few months? Yeah, unbelievable. Well, every one of them have made a contribution um, at different points. They've uh, they've all settled really well within the changing room and uh, hopefully they can um, continue to contribute to the end of the season. Um, first question is just, again, a question on your own, um, your own personal contribution. So some, some in the media would have questioned your, your credentials, not going, not going that far back and the, the transformation has been, from a supporter's perspective, has been, you know, sensational and, and now considered as a, a genuine contender for Player of the Year and amongst some other cracking players in the squad. What, what would you put that, that transformation down to? What would you say were the, the main reasons behind that, Greg? Um, I think that the manager would be a big part in that. Uh, the system that we play is probably very suited to my strengths as a, 
as a player. Um, I've enjoyed it. I think there's a lot I can still learn in the system and in my own game to improve. But um, yeah, that that would probably be the main. The I've got coaches there that are so uh, keen to help and work with, and Kendall, Gav, and Harry. So um, yeah, I think uh, having these guys and having the managers' belief in you has probably been the main thing. Probably, yeah. and just just as a just as a club. Um... You know what? What what a difference uh, there's been this year, and and the number of goals that we've scored is is that is that been a, a conscious focus of the, the the players and the management, and the coaching staff to go out and, and score more goals for the season. I think the manager said at the end of last year that we wanted to be bigger and better, so I think that's probably part of it. You um we aim to be defensively stronger and more uh, more of a threat going forward, and I think we've done that in both aspects. We. Uh, We've had real consistent form domestically throughout the whole season. Um, every player's contributed, as you say. There's been so many different scorers to them goals, which is is phenomenal. Even I've seen a stat recently: the amount of like su- subs coming on that have scored. It's uh, yeah, there's been a, there's been such a wide uh, contribution from everyone. So I think the whole squad can be pleased with their efforts uh, so far. I think it's just Starfelt. We need we need to get him Carol, on the on the, the score sheet. Do not score at Kelly. <laughs> I think uh, I, I had him down as well. only him and Joe Hart from the from the start in eleven, but it's it's just well, it's an incredible number of different goal scorers. I think you last. need to check that. Carol, I'm pretty sure sure scored at Kelly. Did he? Well, I'll check that. Don't worry, I'll forgive you. <laughs> I, I, I think at the start, which is the last eleven games, there's been fifteen different goal scorers and thirty seven goals. I mean, it's just sensational, isn't it? Goals coming from everywhere, as you say, Greg. Yeah, it's really good. It's um, it's what. The supporters want, isn't it? Like they want attacking football. They want everyone contributing, and uh, I think that's been the manager's philosophy from day one. So no, um, hopefully that can continue, but maybe not at the point where Hartley scores. Yeah, just a quick one for me. <laughs> Getting all those stats read right off to you there. Everyone scored except Joe. You know the, the the league managers quite often split the league up to you know three different uh, eleven games. This is obviously the last game before the split. Do you feel that in these past eleven games, having won them all along with cup matches in between? This is the best football you've played at Celtic. Your your best period, not just you, but the, the team as a whole uh, under the manager. I would like to say yes because as the along the managers wanted us to continue to improve. He's never wanted us just to rest on what we've done previously. So I would probably like to say yes. Whether everyone agrees with that, I'm not sure. But um, hopefully, with that has been our best eleven, and hopefully the next six, seven, eight, whatever it is, can be our next, uh, can be even better. So that'll be the aim in, uh, within the building. Are you confident there's still more to come in these final seven, eight games? Yeah, I would hope so. Um, we've got so many opportunities to um, go and play our football. It's, uh, it's such an enjoyable way of playing and there'd be no reason why it can't be.